What's up guys, it's Waddle Yacha here bringing you uh, another video of con trying to continue this series that I started a long time ago called Rated Reviews. And basically what this is, is I take one of your guys' submitted gameplays and I overlook it and I commentate over it and give you tips and tricks and junk like that. If you ever if you ever seen Genesis tips and tricks and stuff, it's all, uh, his little little things where he reviews it's kind of like that but i uh, i've been doing this for a while i haven't put one up yet for a while though because i stopped receiving submissions from people like no one was interested in putting submissions in but i do have this old one that tester put in that i forgot about that i'm gonna do and try to get this series back up and running so and at the end of the day after uh, the gameplay i will rate your review uh <laughs> your review rate your gameplay uh between one to ten depending on uh how well you did and what i think so here we go. Today, like I said, I am reviewing Tesseradical 117's gameplay. So, here we are. Moving towards Snipe Tower. Pretty nice. And, like I said, I've already seen this gameplay. So, Tesser, if you don't want to watch this whole video, here's what you need to know. You see these two sides of the maps? Got blue, red. This is captured flag on a nice sanctuary we make. Halo 4. So, Tesser, 99.99% of the time, you're over here. Like, right there. And, uh, it's captured a flag, and, you know, their flag is, uh, right there. So, you're not gonna win right there. You're gonna have to push forward. I, I see you maybe once past this halfway mark. Like, you're, you're always on the blue side, and you never make a push for the red side. So you're a very passive player, but although it is nice, I know you're trying to play defense and stay back here and protect your teammates and stuff, but you really need to, when your teammates go for the flag, it's got to be a whole team push. They all have to move in. They all set up in spots and control the map and get in there instead of somebody hanging back here like, hey, how's it how's it going? I'm just going to just gonna sit right here and pop out every once in a while. No, that's not how it works. You got you get your whole team has to go get it, and your whole team comes back. So that's that's the whole main thing, uh, thesis of this whole uh, video, because you seem to stay back this whole time, and not much action happens on your part because of it. Right here, you seem like you don't really don't really know where to go. Like, like you, you kind of hang out in front of this area. Not a super good spot to, to just hang out. You see the guy with the sniper, and right now, since you see him right there, and he knows that you're around here, I would not pop out right here. Instead, I would come around here, maybe use this jump up, and come up here, and then get a flank on him or something. And then you also see the sword in the middle that you should probably grab too. So, yeah, you see, you got your Promethean rocking. Promethean vision rocking. So then you just pass up the sword, which I, I'm confused about. I don't really know why. So now you see that sniper guy right there. You got somebody coming up on the side, though, so you gotta go get him, too. I like where you are right now, though. Uh, you're in the you're in the middle. It's nice, because it's, it's even though you were being passed this whole game, this is when uh, your most aggressive was at the beginning and near the end. So you do end up picking up that sword after a nice bolt shot double kill. Just uh, curious to why you didn't pick it up in the first place. And I hope you called that guy out you saw running towards your base. Because uh, you didn't really do anything about it. You're just kind of sitting here. You don't really know what you do. Like You shouldn't just sit here. You should at least pop out and try to shoot some people. Um, you see that that guy gets picked up. I think right here you're going to check and see if you can reset the flag. Unfortunately, you cannot in this game type. So you kind of just walk back to your base. And this is where you start to, like, hang around and, uh, not do much, unfortunately. So, I think you're trying to protect the flag, but, in all honesty, when you're, when you're playing Captured Flag and you're trying to protect your flag, standing right next to it isn't necessarily the best way to do it. So, you, you, you will want somebody in the base, but you're going to want to spread out and control the map, like, standing, somebody, having sta uh, somebody stand over here... Somebody in the base, somebody on this car, somebody in the middle, and somebody like put, applying pressure on the whole time so they can't even pass the halfway mark. When your team gets defensive, it seems like they don't you, they don't do it. They just 
like back up all the way over here and they're in this one quarter of the map and they should be controlling the whole map at least on their side so the team can't uh push forward So you guys did get a pull on the flag, but not very far. They got a pull on yours, not very far. It's pretty, it's pretty stale game. You're kind of just hanging around waiting for somebody to pop up so they can't grab the flag. As you see, there's four people. You guys, look at this. You guys are four v, f okay, five v four. That's weird. I guess. Uh, okay, I didn't notice that earlier. Uh, so yeah, you got. Almost all your players standing right here like one grenade like destroy all of you. This guy, you know, um he's he's doing something at least. But you guys don't want all four of you over there. At most two. Because then if one dies, the other one can still stop the flag carrier. But you don't need all four of you over here, like definitely not necessary. Once again, you make your way back to your nice little perch where you like to hang. See, right now, what I would do is, since you guys got your flag back, everything's back to reset, I don't see anybody pushing on the red side. I don't see anybody making a push from the red side. So at this moment, I would be like, okay, move over here, get some nice height advantage and angles on people. I don't see anybody moving in. So this is when you move up to a uh, car over here. Get a good look on their hut, or you do a jump up and move into ring two and start popping out over here. But instead, you just kind of stay here and wait for people to show up. With this 5v4 advantage, you should definitely win a capture flag game with ease because, seriously, I oh, um, forgot to turn off notifications. Sorry, guys. Filthy casual. I don't know who you are, but whatever's. You are making a nice little support move. Kill him and back. Okay, so right there, this is when I would, once my shield's regained, I would jump up to ring two. But wh what do you do? you like, okay, I'm going back. Uh, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Why would you push up that far and just run all the way back, especially when there's like already three people in your base? That's all I, that's all I have to say about that part. Once again, another notification that I fail to uh, block. You just have to ignore those. Okay, yeah, see, so you're just like really s just not moving anywhere at this moment. And luckily, this sniper is terrible. Hopefully, you, hopefully you called, called that out so somebody can go pick up that sniper. And I think that's what Stag is doing right here, maybe. Nope, maybe zombie. I don't know. But you see, your whole team. You're you're sitting right here. Look where your team is. You see this? They're they're moving up. They're pushing. They need to get that flag. You need to start moving forward. Cause on the red side, the red team isn't is kind of doing the same thing. Both teams are kind of being super passive and just ha kind of hanging back and not making very many pushes. But if you guys all made a push at the same time, you could definitely make some action happen and make it happen, guys. Here we are. Guys are all kind of closing in on this guy, trying to pinch him. Okay, this is when you make a push forward. That's when you make a push forward. Once you get a kill, you push forward. And But instead, you always just run straight back to your little perch. I know, I, I know I'm restating it a lot, and it's, uh, it's basically all I have to say about this gameplay, because so much more could have happened had you uh, pushed forward. So let's just kind of fast forward a little bit. Pull out. I'm just kind of hanging around here again. You know that there's somebody in the hut, so you pull out your perfect vision sword, and you get a kill on him. But uh, wait, let's go back. Here's something that also confused me. Throughout the game, you kind of uh, once you kill somebody with a sniper, you kind of just leave it there, and 
gonna just leave. I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you're not confident with the sniper rifle, in which case you can just go into custom octagon game and get better at it, and then you can become confident with it. So then you can utilize these prim uh, power weapons that you are just kind of leaving hanging around. So here we go. They, you got your flag out. Finally, you make a push forward, and then what? What is this? What? You run all the way back. Uh, it's just confusing to me how how you manage to just like you notice. Oh, okay, uh, nothing's happening. I'm gonna go push forward, and then who knows why you just run all the way back again? I. It's just so confusing to me. Okay, fast forward. Blah blah blah. You have some pretty solid support shots here, though. I, I like, I like that you, I, and this triple kill right here. That was really good aggressive play right there because you got the flag on the side and you really helped it uh, stay on that side. That was a really nice play on that part. You just need to, you just need to be more aggressive sometimes, uh, and uh, and less hanging back and being passive like that. I, I, I don't know how to feel about this bolt shotting. <laughs> Pulling out that sword, being a little bit more aggressive, I like it. You seem to get aggressive when you guys have the flag uh, coming in, coming in, and you should be aggressive to go get the flag because bringing it back the flag should be the easier part. If you guys kill them off nice and easy when you got the flag, then it wouldn't be as huge of a problem. So I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. Oh, okay. Pulling out that suppressor. Okay. <laughs> and you got blamed. Not much you could have could have done about that death. I'm curious to see what uh what uh KD you got in this game because I know you went way way positive because you were passive. I think you only died like three or four times, but you didn't you didn't get a super amount of kills because you were also passive. But you did get a fair amount, I think. So. I don't know, oh, maybe you went like, like 15 and 4, 4 or 15 and 3, something like that. that. Not, not too bad. Not too shabby. Nice bolt shot. Oh. oh. Almost got I got a sneeze. sneeze. No. I'm good. Okay. Let's fast forward oh. a little bit. Because not much happens here. Kind of just. Around. around. Got a bolt shot. Killed some people. people. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Get some more people. Some more. Okay, and sorry guys, you know that regeneration field glitch where the sound happens? Yeah, well, it happens right here. So, you guys are just gonna have to live with that sound for the rest of the time. I'm so sorry about that. I'm trying to speed up this uh, review really fast because <laughs> not much else happens until near the end and it gets pretty intense. Oh, what happened there? Okay. But, uh, yeah. It is pretty long. I'm sorry about that. Got that killing spree. You and your teammate. I would have, uh... For your teammate, not you. Your teammate should have gone the other way and pinched him on the other side of the tunnel, but that works too. It doesn't really matter that much. Overall, you are a very nice support player, but uh, I want—I would like to see more pushing forward and supporting them on the other side of the map, also, instead of just when you're in danger at your own base. So now you do pick up the sniper, and I think—I think it was because no one else is going to. But I can see from the shots you, you you make with it why you might be unconfident with it. You just need to go into octodon, not the octodon. Octodad, octagon, and uh, do a little practicing. You'll get better with the power weapon. Oh, it sounds like the sound fixed. Woohoo! Doing some good defense here on the flag too. Nonetheless, they picked it up.
I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. It's one of those moments where you're just kind of hanging around again. Really good defense, though. You're holding, you're holding the base pretty well. They're coming to push, but they're coming to push a lot. And I see why you might be doing defense here because, I mean, you guys already got a flag cap and you don't really need to go forward. But like I said earlier, the, the proper defense is map control. And when your whole team is in your own base, there's, there's not much you can do map control wise. Okay, let's let's back up a little bit. So, you see they got their you got they got your flag, and you kind of you go you go for the kills, but you you get you get cleaned up pretty well. So now they're going. This is when I would since he's right there, and you know they're all gonna be pushing this way. I think you go straight for it this way, straight for the flag. I would have uh I would have pushed up here and got a height advantage on them and then started shooting them and like bam 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 but instead you, you what most people do you know yeah you go straight for it but see now the flag carrier gets away and gets pretty far because you didn't have any angle on uh, can't get a view on him because of the base in the middle so here they go they get the they get their flag and now it's an intense game it's pretty close so now, now this is when you get aggressive, which I like, because now you just realize, oh, oh boy, we need to get this flag, otherwise we're going to lose. So I like where you are right now. This is a good spot. I don't see very many people using the rings uh, in this game for some reason, but they're very powerful positions. And then you drop down, wasn't really a necessary move. Uh, and you, you should have kind of just stayed around that jump up. But I, I do like the support you gave on that side, because the, when you drop down, it did, it did help your teammate get away with the flag, so... Unless it was a decent move. And on those type of shots, I mean, you can kind of zoom in for those. I mean, you don't have to, but... Seems like you don't zoom in very often with your DMR. So now they're trying to make one last push since they're like, Oh, they're in the same situation as you are. And they are almost succeeding, but once again, you have some pretty decent defensive kills. So you guys actually got another pull while they were distracted over here, which is really nice. And you get the victory. So well done overall. Really well done. Uh, I would give it a nice solid 5.5, maybe 6. Uh, I would like to have seen you, oops, oh, oops, a daisies, oh, mama, oh, mama, okay, <laughs> I would like to have seen you move over to the other side a lot more than you actually did, now, other, other than that, though, you did really well with your shots, you, uh, you had some really good support times, especially when you guys got the flag, I like that you realized you were supposed to be pushing when you had the flag coming in, so, yeah, Pretty nice, all in all. If you guys want to submit your gameplays, just, you know, leave your gamer tag, file share. Um, I would like any a lot of details. Maybe, like, send me your details about the gameplay, like uh, maybe your loadouts you used, maybe thoughts you had on the gameplay itself and what you think uh, you did wrong already. And uh, I would like to see those type of things. Other than that... This is Wally Acha, guys, signing out. Submit your gameplays if you want this series to keep coming. And here we go. Ooh, well, let's